Hello, my name is Evan Jacobs. Welcome to another edition of Boxing Time TV. Today we have Rolando Romero versus Isaac Cruz. This bout's happening on March 30th. Uh, Romero's 28, Cruz is 25. Uh, Romero's 5'8, Cruz is 5'4. They're both 140 pounds, 68 reach, 63 reach. 68 reach from Romero, 63 reach for Cruz. 15 fights, one loss for Romero. 25 fights, two losses for Cruz. This is a 12 round. Three minute bout, 10 point most scoring system, no mandatory eight count, three knockdown rule waived. Let's just get right to it. Folks, I'm about to leave on a trip to Las Vegas. I won't be posting this before I go, I don't think. I'm just hoping that I have enough time to get the fight done before I go. So that's why I'm moving a little bit quicker. This is a very interesting bout. And one thing that people don't seem to be talking about is I don't, in real life, I think that Cruz wins. I think... That Raleigh Romero is going to fade down the stretch. I think Cruz is just going to get stronger. I think that Romero hits harder. But, yeah. Yeah, that's my uh, take on it. I'll be right back. i got to get some water. And I don't see Raleigh knocking him out. And, yeah. I just see this as one of those fights. Tough fight to call. Both guys, you know, I think Cruz has decent power. I think Raleigh has better power. But I think that uh, Cruz takes a better shot. So, we're gonna, we're just gonna have to see here, folks. Oh, look at that. And Cruz catching him. And um, like I said, this bout is happening on the 30th. Other bouts we're going to be doing uh, is the just announced Taylor Catterall fight and the uh, Inouye Neary fight. And then obviously there's those fights that are coming up in Saudi Arabia that I'm going to want to do. So I just wanted to try to get this done before I go to Las Vegas because I'll come home on Sunday I'm now and I'm going to post it. And I just was like, you know what, what if I'm tired? I don't feel like, you know, necessarily putting together a podcast. Not that it's that hard, but, you know, there's just, there, there's a little bit of work that goes into it. Um, either way, we're going to, we are, we are going to get this done. And I'm saying first round in the books looks pretty even. Romero keeping Cruz honest. And, you know, what really rose both these fighters stock. Oh, wow. Romero wobbles Cruz. I might be totally wrong. What really rose both these fighters' stock is their proximity, I think, to Gervonta Davis. Romero um, kind of just talked a lot of smack, it seemed to me. It was more of his mouth that kind of got him, so, you know, the, the interest in him. So it's 10-10, both, and then one judge has it 10-9 for Cruz. So, Cruz up by one point, even though he got wobbled. Give Romero credit. Lands a hard punch and wobbles him. And now Romero's coming coming out, looking to do it again. Um, it seemed like more of his mouth. Whereas, Isaac Cruz fought Gervonta Davis. Um, I want to say that that was a stand-in for Romero was supposed to fight him. Then he wasn't able to fight him. And then Cruz stepped in, and Cruz gave a very good account of himself. And I'm saying, I think Cruz is the, is the division's boogeyman. I don't know that he, you know, he's going to beat the top guys, but he can he's, he can hang with them. And so he's sort of like a gatekeeper. And I'm saying, I think this is a very tough, very difficult fight in this game, in the, in the simulation, and in real life for um, Raleigh Romero. But I give Romero credit. You know, he's doing the things he needs to do. He's where he needs to be. He's in the mix. I don't know why he didn't take the Ryan Garcia fight. That, to me, is actually a kind of a more winnable fight for him, even though I think Garcia would have beaten him. I don't know why, as opposed to going up against Isaac Cruz, which is a tougher fight, I think.
Oh, hard right hand. Raleigh's got that right hand, and you show that he's able to hurt Cruz. And my thing is, if he can continue to do that, I mean, he may, he may surprise me. One thing I didn't realize was the size of Cruz. I thought he was bigger. I think he's more stocky than anything else. He's like a tank. Oh, I'm telling you, these guys are letting go. I think this is going to be a very entertaining fight for as long as it lasts. And once again, even, wow, guys, this is, I mean, once again, it even, and, and Romero down by one point. So now we're going into the second round. This is a 10-round fight, and I'm telling you, Romero's doing a lot of good work, fighting a lot better than I thought that he would, even though this is even. And he's landing on Cruz, folks, and Cruz takes a good shot. It's going to be very impressive to me if Romero can do more than that. I mean, honestly, I like Romero. I, I, I just think he loses to the top guys, and I think Cruz is, is one of the better guys. You know, it'll be inter been interesting seeing Ryan Garcia, Isaac Cruz. And uh, once again, folks, you are watching Boxing Time TV. If you like what you're seeing, please like, comment, and follow. Please share these links. Right there, you saw Cruz go to the body. He's going to need to do more of that. Right now, it's been Ro Romero. If Romero can keep this going, guys. He's boxing well on the outside. He's catching Cruz. I'm telling you, I think he's winning this fight. He's using his height advantages. You know, we're just going to have to see if he can keep it up. And right now, Romero just busting, although Cruz is starting to break through. And that, I think, is what's going to be the difference. Can, if Romero can keep this up, it's going to go okay for him. If he can't, Cruz is the bull, man. He's the pit bull. He's coming in. He's, he's, he's doing the things that he, that he needs to, to do. And, I mean, these guys are both taking shots. And right there, you have Romero taking shots, too.
Wow, so you have Romero up by two of the judges, 10-9, 10-9. One judge gives it to Cruz, 10-9. So, folks, it is even again. We're going into the third round. Look at this. These guys are going for it. I'm telling you, I'm liking the action that I'm seeing here. Wow, and Cruz coming forward. And Cruz leading with that with that left. And, he, and he's trying to put it on. And Romero's trying to counter. And that's the thing. It's going to come down to who can impose whose style. Right now, Romero seems like he's doing just a shade less well now that Cruz has closed the distance on him. But we'll see. We'll see. And look at that. Romero, when he gets that distance, he's able, he is able to land. But Cruz, when he... Pushes forward, it's a totally different ball game. Romero trying to go to the body. He wants to sap some of that strength, some of that come forward nature from Isaac Cruz. You know, looking at the record of, you know, when was the last time that he fought? Well, he fought July of last year, so fairly recent. My just thought is is that if is that if um, Barroso can give Cruz fits, if he can give him trouble, if he can come close to almost winning, I mean Isaac Cruz, younger, fresher, should be able to do it. All right, once again, even. They're saying that Romero's tired. Cruz is breathing heavy. Two of the judges giving it to Isaac Cruz. So Cruz pulling ahead by two points as we go into the fifth round. Still anyone's fighting. Romero's not coming forward like he was. Cruz is still coming, coming forward. And Cruz now has him in the corner, and we'll see if Romero can if Romero can kind of keep him off. This is where Cruz wants him. This is exactly where Cruz wants Raleigh.
let's see what the judges said. Well, in the bed, I, Isaac Pitbull Cruz, two ten, ten nines for Isaac Pitbull Cruz. One judge has it even. Moving into the sixth round, Romero up by four points. No, down by four points. Oh, and he tries to keep the pit bull off him. Coming out. Come down to the wire. These guys are going for it, and I think Cruz is starting to really be in his rhythm based on what I just saw, but we'll see what the judges say. And uh, yeah, Romero's very tired. Cruz is breathing heavy. Uh, two, uh, 10 10, 10 9 for Isaac Cruz. So Cruz is pulling ahead. Cruz is now ahead by uh, six points. We had six more rounds to go. Let's see what happens in this in this fight. Just getting everything in order. For when I go away. It's weird. I can't just relax before I go away. I've got to do a gazillion things. And we have these guys just once again, folks, you are watching Boxing Time TV. I apologize for the sloppiness of this podcast. I got started too late. And you have Cruz going to the body on Romero, trying to keep Romero on us. If Cruz hit harder, he could probably stop Romero and he may very well. But right now it's just Romero is, you know, you've seen his output fade and he, he just, that's just kind of the way that this sort of goes for him. If he could, that's the thing is, if, if, if he had more, you know, just was able to to kind of set down, keep, keep the guy off him, 
it would be easier, but I'm, I'm saying he could make more of a fight of it for him. But I, I think that Cruz right now up by six points is, you know, this is what Cruz wants. This was what Cruz expects. But Cruz did get rocked early. And I think he does respect the power of Romero. Oh, and going to the body. He's got Romero on the ropes. Oh, and here and I'm I'm saying it's becoming all Isaac Cruz. Is it Isaac or Isak? I've heard different different pronunciations. But he it's just this is his bread and butter. He can do this all night. And R- Romero's gonna have to dig down deep. And do something to keep him off him. Wins over Giovanni Cabrera, Eduardo Ramirez, Yorkis Camboa, the loss to Javante Davis, victories over Francisco Vargas, uh, Jose Matias Mar- uh, Romero, Diego Magdaleno. So now Cruz, 10-9s, 10 9s. And 10-10, so one judge still holding out for Romero. It's only an eight-point fight. Romero can do something. But we have we have five more. Oh, look at that. And Romero coming forward gets clipped and dropped by Cruz. Did not expect that. Wow. Isaac Cruz explodes and stops Raleigh Romero. OMG. Wow. What a, a and I did not see that coming. Wow, folks. Hey, thank you so much for tuning in to Boxing Time TV. Romero came out, looked like he was trying to make a final stand. Cruz with a one-two stops him and drops him. The winner's Isaac Cruz by a knockout. The fight lasted eight rounds. Romero was knocked down one time. Cruz was not knocked down. As you can see, close on the scorecards, 68, uh, I'm sorry, 69, 68, 66, 69, and 70, 66. Thank you so much, folks, for tuning in to Boxing Time TV. If you like what you've seen, please like, comment, and follow. Please share these links with your family and friends. And um, we will be back. And our motto here at Boxing Time TV is why wait? Watch it now, then watch the real thing when it airs and compare. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Hold on, I gotta figure out.